I love you people. Welcome back to my channel. If you're an old subscriber, if you are new here, my name is Ofori Wadiodu. I am a YouTuber based in Accra, Ghana. Do well to support this family by subscribing to this channel and liking my videos. Also, share my videos with friends and family. I wish some people would be interested. <laughs> Alright guys, as the title suggests, I'm going to share with you my favorite or my top 10 um, African movies on Netflix right now. If you haven't watched this movie, you are missing out, okay? Without wasting my time, let's get straight into action. First on my list is Blood and Water. Blood and Water is a South African series and it is about a family who got their first daughter abducted at birth. And currently they have a teen and a little boy and the teen went to a swimming a pool party and she came across this lady and she's so much convinced that is her sister. So she tries to investigate in her own way to find out more about um, the teen in question. It has six episodes and just one season. I mean it's very interesting. Once she starts watching it is a bit too you have to continue you can't stop let me put this disclaimer out it is based on my own assumption and they are in no particular order but i think all of them are really really nice interesting according to me so you can check it out probably we have the same taste of movies second on my list is his excellency you will definitely love this movie this movie was so funny and so interesting. I couldn't take my eyes off the screen. Your Excellency is a Nigerian movie about this successful uh, businessman, a billionaire, and a failed presidential candidate. He had tried several times, he didn't win. But this time around, he got a dance move that got a lot of social media attention and he kept on trending. And also some people that to him, they were going to help him out, kind of sabotage him because they thought he wasn't credible enough to stand as a presidential candidate. So they were trying to sabotage him, but at the end, it was like they were helping him and then he won the elections. It has some of my favorite actors, Nigerian actors like Funke and Shafi Beloy. I don't know if I got the, the name right, but I like that lady as well. It is really a good movie, so you do well to check that one out. Number three on my list is The Royal Hibiscus. It is about a chef in London who decided to return back to Nigeria to her family's hotel to change the menu and restore the place. Unknown to her, the hotel was being sold and the guy that she seemed to have fallen in love with was the buyer. So you can imagine the drama. It is a very good movie. Unfortunately, I'm not good with names. I do not remember the names of the cast, but it is a good one. So do also check it out. Number four on my list is Sugar Rush. Sugar Rush came out somewhere late 2019 last year. And trust me, the hype was real. So Sugar Rush is about three sisters but two of them went out to a party they were invited to the same party and they happened to chance on eighty eight hundred thousand dollars in a corrupt man's house obviously it's it's not clean money but these girls took their money and they thought they had made it in life <laughs> so basically it's about the wahala of them trying to refund the money and all the stories that came with whoever had the money at the end of the day. It is a comedy movie. It is very funny. And in all, it is a good movie. You should check it out, okay? Number five on my list is Merry Men 2. I don't know if this is Nigerian's version of the Fast and Furious. <laughs> Please don't come at me in the comments. This is about four handsome men who used to rob the rich to pay the poor. That was in part one. This is part two, so obviously there is a part one. So they were exposing corrupt politicians and in part two, 
it started with them being on a vacation. However, they were, even though they were all in the same city but different location, they were all attacked by a set of female around the same time. They ended up kidnapping the wife of one of the team members who also happens to be the sister of the leader. It was later revealed that the females were sent by one of the corrupt politicians that they revealed. This female politician wants them to go back and erase or get all the documents that they made against her in order for her to release the victim. This is when Fast and Furious sets in. I don't know, but whilst I was watching the whole thing, it just mimicked Fast and Furious for me. Like, that's what I kept thinking in my head. It's been worthy. So if you have time, you can check that one out. Number six on my list is the perfect picture 10 years later. It is a Ghanaian movie that was produced by Shelly Temple Manso. It stars Ghanaian actors and actresses like Chris Atto, Ajete Anan, John Dumelo, Jackie Apia, Naa Shoko, and Lydia Fossey. It, it is a really good movie. I think you enjoy it better if you watch the previous ones. But still, this is a good one on its own. And basically, it talks about friendship and the not so fairy tale stories of their relationship, basically. So, check that one out. The next on my list is Love is War. Love is War is a Nigerian movie. It is about a husband and a wife who both got nominated to be the presidential candidate for the two major parties in the country. So basically, the, the movie seeks to ascertain if they are able to maintain their marriage and all the dramas that unfold with the competition, you know, trying to compete against each other. Number eight on my list is Casanova. Casanova is a Nollywood romantic comedy, which is about a widower who has eyes for anything in skirt. So he goes to a bar with his friends and they were having a discussion on their perceived view on how women are useless. I know to them a lady that was in a very bad mood was sitting very close eavesdropping on their conversation and when she had had enough of what they were saying she just gave them a piece of her mind and just left. So she has a daughter she is a music teacher and she has a daughter and the widower has a son unknown to them, their children are in the same school. The widower's son gets a scholarship to learn music. He is a wannabe musician and he, he, he gets awarded with a scholarship to learn music. The man decides to take his son to his first class so he could meet his teacher and to their surprise or to his surprise the lady he had that argument with turned out to be the music teacher. It's not the usual love story we see in African movies. It's a good one too. You should try and watch, right? So number nine on my list is the elevator baby. So two people get stuck in an elevator from two completely different worlds. The young man comes from a very wealthy family and the other one is a pregnant woman who is underprivileged and then she goes into labor in the elevator. At the beginning when they first got into the elevator, she spilled something on his shirt which got him really angry and was very very rude to the woman. But then, oh, you know when there's an emergency, everybody tries to help and they were they were just two. It was just him and the woman. And so obviously he was forced to help and basically talks about how this experience changes his life for the better. It is a good one. And it is, I saved the best for last. One of my favorite movies at the moment is Seriously Single. This is a South African movie about a girl that was just not ready to be single. Immediately she's down, she jumps on the next available train. 
she doesn't know herself she hasn't taken time to love herself she just does not want to stay single fortunately for her she has a friend who is relationship phobic and she encourages her to embrace singleness and take her time the lady who is a social media expert she's called the male yes she finds a guy who she thinks oh this is mr right and she was seriously planning her future with this one not knowing he was also seriously planning his forever with another woman she finds out that she gets heartbroken again and along the line her relationship phobic friend rather finds love and she's unable to reveal to her friend because she knows her condition. And then the guy who breaks the Dineo's heart, he got divorced. He came back to Dineo. He came to propose. Everything seems to be okay, but she turned him down. It is a great movie. I think you really have to watch this one. All right, guys. All too soon, we've come to the end of another video. Do well to share your thoughts with me by leaving your comments down. Also leave your recommendations down below in the comment section. I'll do well to check them out. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Let's get this channel to 500. Right now I'm around 350. Let's get the subscribers to 500 by the end of August. Okay? Happy new month and to we meet again, Makramo. Stay safe and be blessed.